Did LeBron James really watch The Godfather six times? Cause he sure as hell couldn't come up with his favorite quote from the movie. Or did he bend space and time to his will? Cause he claimed to listen to Migos music in 2010, even though their first mixtape came out in 2011. Incidents and claims like these have made LeBron James, the greatest modern day player in the NBA, a certified laughing stock. But why does LeBron James need to lie? It's such a childish thing to do, especially when you're a world famous athlete who is watched on a daily basis by millions of people. I guess we'll never find out. But what we do have for you is a list of his seven biggest alleged lies. Probably harmless ones though. Caught on camera. Starting with number seven. When LeBron James was questioned on his reported liking of the Godfather movie back in 2016, while apparently using it to prepare himself during the NBA Finals, a reporter took it a step further by asking him about his favorite quote from the movie. And LeBron had a less than satisfactory answer for someone who claims to have watched the movie six times. So many different phrases uh, and too many different lines in that movie to just uh, categorize one. Uh, what? I mean, come on, LeBron. Could have just gone for the... It's not personal, son. It's strictly business. To satiate the angry Cavs fans when you went to Miami. Too much? Probably too much. Moving to number six. This time we go from LeBron the cinephile to LeBron the bibliophile, where one time a reporter caught LeBron in a press conference holding the book which had Malcolm X's life as the subject matter. And this time again, the reporter asked him to quote his biggest takeaways from the autobiography, and LeBron just went like, I kind of just started a couple days ago. I've read and a, lot of, a lot of notes over the years. Um, it's my first time actually reading this from start to finish. But just a very, um, very smart man. Very, very, very smart man. Okay, we get it, LeBron. We get it. He was a very smart man, and I'm sure you had just started reading the book. You'd not have a full-blown idea about the book, but please do better. Things went so bad that people started coming up with pictures where LeBron was shown reading just page one of every book he has been captured reading, calling him the king of page one, where he's been caught reading just the first or first few pages of books like Shoe Dog by Phil Knight, or Jerry West's West by West, and more so. He is certainly not getting to work at a library after this, ever. And that brings us to number five, where LeBron was once again caught, or not, capping on camera. And this time, it was in a post-match game after the 2021 NBA play-in game versus the Warriors, where LeBron had shot a spectacular three to end the game. He said in the post-game interview that because of a minor eye injury during the game, he was seeing three rims and he just shot for the middle one. You didn't even look in rhythm there. What were you thinking as the ball left your hands? You know, after, you know, drape my uh, finger to the eye, I was literally seeing three, uh, three rims out there. Um, so, I just shot at the middle one. I wonder what Michael Jordan might think of that one. Stop it. Quickly going to number four, we have LeBron James interacting with other famous sports figures including European football slash soccer star from Manchester United, Marcus Rashford. In an episode of the 2022 series The Shop, the soccer star said that his coach gave him some life advice and LeBron James wasted no time jumping in. I, I had one coach um, and he used to say, put yourself in situations where you're not, in, you're not comfortable. Oh Play yeah, that's my favorite saying. Zone. That's my favorite saying. Um, I'm sure Marcus Rashford would have felt some way about it, because we certainly did. For a player who couldn't come up with a quote from his favorite movie or book, it's a little weird for him to distinctly remember a random saying from a person he doesn't even know. Get a grip, King James. Before revealing our top three, we would just like to request you to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content around the NBA. Do let us know in the comments section about the biggest lie you have seen coming from LeBron James. And now, our top three. Starting with another interaction of LeBron James, James with a football star, this one features a former player of Liverpool, a club where he is an investor himself, at number three in the list of LeBron's moments of blunder. Appearing on Crouchy's Year Late Euros hosted by Maya Jama and former Liverpool player Peter Crouch, LeBron was asked whether he knew Crouch played for Liverpool. Yeah, Crouchy is actually a Liverpool legend. He used to play there. I don't know if you knew that. No, I knew that. I didn't get an opportunity to see him play when he was with the club, but I definitely knew I, I definitely knew that. Well, I don't know about y'all, but we don't think he knew. Right after that, he was asked about whether he got the chance to see Liverpool club captain Jordan Henderson score his first goal for the England national team. I didn't get an opportunity to actually see the game live, mm -hmm. but um, I saw that he was able to score one in the, in the, in the match the other day, and I thought that was... Uh, it's pretty unique, the fact that he would do that and then also be with Liverpool Football Club. Really? Highlights, LeBron? And then going on to say that it was unique, that he scored the goal and was part of Liverpool? Who's been running your teleprompters, LeBron? 
fire that intern. And moving on to number two, we see LeBron James make a big whoop with this one. Discussing the hip-hop and trap music group Migos, LeBron was questioned about them in the wake of the death of Takeoff, one of Migos' most recognized members. LeBron James, true to his behavior, didn't waste a mic drop moment, but in the worst of fashions. I've been listening to those guys for so long. I was listening to those guys when I, my first year with the Heat in 2010. What's bad about it, you ask? Well, LeBron's first season with Miami was in 2010, and the first ever mixtape by Migos titled Jug Season came out in the US on August 25th, 2011. So unless LeBron had access to their music behind the scenes, it's pretty obvious he's capping. And then we move on to number one, the biggest LeBron James lie, or a so-called prediction that he made. Drum roll, please. Yep, it's the Kobe Bryant 80-pointer game. Speaking in an interview, LeBron James strangely went on to say that he knew Kobe Bryant was going to explode for a 70-pointer in the game versus the Toronto Raptors back in 2006, and then even making an 80-pointer prediction right after. Before the game even started, when I seen, uh, I said he was probably going to score 70 tonight. I don't, I don't know what made me say that, and when he got to like 70, I, I was like, well, he might as well go for 80 now. While eagle-eyed fans started unearthing his white lies and predictions, looking at you, Jalen Ramsey. Now, bro, you know what they're saying on Twitter I'm right now. They say you be captain. <laughs> <laughs> It was pretty obvious that the NBA world was going to have a field day with the memes where they went on to troll LeBron about predicting the sinking of the Titanic or the COVID-19 pandemic. And some other things, and some other things, and some more. Well, you get the gist. So why does LeBron James lie? Or allegedly lie? We don't know for sure. Some have said that maybe it's the pressure of the scrutiny and the limelight, that he always needs to give the best quote or the most catchy quote for the media, while some have said that maybe he's just misinformed or caught on a bad day. Except when he lied about him needing to learn how to flop. I gotta learn how to flop or something. Seriously, I need to learn how to do that. You know what? The lesser said the better. While we try to learn the reasons for LeBron James white lies, we would love it if you would just hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and become part of this growing community. Tell us which NBA player you'd like us to cover in our videos going forward and we'd love to do it for you. See you next time in another interesting video from the world of NBA. Have a good one.